All right, guys, it's uh, Poppy Stan coming at you with another live video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share, comment, uh, give me some encouraging words as you watch. But um, I basically, I just wanted to make a uh, quick video on. Um, <laughs> actually, it's quite embarrassing. I wanted to post some of my past videos that. I struggled with with anxiety and depression and uh, suicidal thoughts, but I was really concerned. I was I keep going back and forth whether you know I wanted to um, whether I wanted to post it or not. I was just really worried about how I would be perceived. I guess um, you know what people would think of me. You know, um, you know, is it really real? Um, you know, I just kind of afraid of being judged um, from all the different videos of struggling with anxiety and depression in the past. I just figured that um, it would have been really good to uh, use the videos kind of like, not as a pity party, but kind of more like an encouragement to people that are struggling with anxiety and depression and suicidal thoughts and just, you know, the the damper that it puts on your life, you know, kind of like a, kind of like it puts a restraint on your life that you feel like you can't move forward or you can't do um, what you want to do. Um, it's such a struggle when you're dealing with that. And if you've never dealt with that before, trust me, there's nothing like it. Um, I ask myself many times, how did I get there? What caused me to? get to that point, you know, uh, was I crazy? Looking back at the videos, I'm like, sometimes I'm like so embarrassed. Like, I can't believe that was me. I can't believe that was me, like just crying and, and just in this deep, dark valley, like this pit where um, I felt like I couldn't get out or I would never get out or I couldn't come out. I felt like, whatever it was, those demons like were like so strong, you know what I mean? Like, and not everybody survived, you know, um, that ordeal, not everybody comes up on top. You know, some people end up committing suicide, you know, like end up uh, succumbing to depression and anxiety and they, they don't make it out, you know, so to speak. Um, they don't overcome that, you know, um, that fear that that depression is so dark it's like almost like death really it's like death knocking on your door you know what i mean like it's uh it's it's a real battle it's a real battle um so you know i was really concerned about my videos but i was like i just wanted to post this video um prior to my other videos you know, just to let you know that's where I was, but, you know, I kind of like want to use the videos to encourage people who are struggling with anxiety and depression and, and, and um, uh, PTSD and just other forms of just like being down and out, feeling like you're alone, feeling like um, nobody is there to comfort you, feeling like nobody is there to uplift you, feeling like nobody is there to hold your hand, that there are people that care there are people that that want you to succeed want you to to beat that that you know that deep dark depression you know um now that i look back you know like i said especially for men you know because we have so much pride and ego and it's just so embarrassing you know like sometimes i tell people about it and they're like there's nothing to be embarrassed about it was really a fight that you you were in a fight for your life pretty much you know um and that's what it, it really felt like, you know, um, like I said, some people don't make it out of depression. And I felt like at one point I felt like I wasn't going to make it out. Like I, I'm not going to beat this thing. Like I'll be there forever. Like I'm going to be always sad and, and, and just broken and crying and, and defeated. You know, I kind of felt like in that poster behind me with with uh, Muhammad Ali knocking down uh, Lisbon. Like he was, you know, I wasn't going to get out. I'll get out, you know, and like I said, it was just like, I look at some of my videos and I'm like, I can't believe that's me. Like, um, it just breaks me.
it breaks my heart, like, you know. Um, but I'm happy that I'm in a much better place. And um, I just want to encourage you that uh, the battle is never finished. You know, it's always, sometimes it tries to creep back in, but you have to know how to how to use your tools, your weapons, your, um, your education, um, not in terms of, you know, what you know, but education in regards to that particular um, disease, because really it is a disease, um, fighting whatever it is to, to, to beat it as far as walking and eating right, exercising, running, um, staying away from certain things um, or, or, you know, and things that will help you cope better, you know. Um, so many people have taken their life. There's, there's even a Canadian YouTuber, Lee McMillan, that uh, took her life and she did actually did she actually did what I did um, back in 2003. I sat on the train tracks. Well, for her, the train did come and she died in California. Um, so it's just, uh, yeah, I hate to hear and see that people lose their life with anxiety and depression um, because, you know, it starts off as something very minute and then it just evolves and grows into something bigger and bigger and then it kind of becomes like, um, like it gets out of control, you know, it's, it, it becomes bigger than you. You can't even, you know, you can't see yourself. You know, it's like, kind of like you're in a grave and you're trying to come up, but there's no way out, you know what I mean? You, you can't find yourself out. It's kind of like you're in a deep, dark cave, you know. it's Sometimes it's, it's really hard to explain what it really is, but it's just, it's really a disease. It's a struggle. It's a battle. Um, people that do battle anxiety and depression do understand what I'm talking about. Um, some people that don't know, I encourage you to research, find out what it is. You know, there's people around you that are suffering with anxiety and depression, family members, friends, even the people in your own household, you might not know, but there are signs, you know, there are, there are signs where, you know, uh, people start withdrawing or, or they stop loving the things that they enjoy doing. They start selling their personal items. Um, just look out for the signs. Uh, people withdrawing or not speaking anymore, not talking anymore, not really laughing anymore. And that was me. I was a joyous guy, always engaged. And then I, I just lost touch with everything. And uh, so, you know, when I post those videos, <laughs> I just hope that I get encouragement instead of um, people, you know, trying to find a way to judge you, you know, because we're always afraid of being judged, right? No matter what it is that we're going through or what it, whatever it is that we're struggling with, we're always afraid of being judged. It's just human nature, period. So I was thinking a long time, like, oh, do I really want to post these videos? And, you know, um, and depression and anxiety is not something that just stops and just stops and just disappears and you're healed and you're better all of a sudden. No, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of time. And um, it's a long battle, it's a struggle. Sometimes it's never over, it's, it's always, it tries to creep back in, right? And you have to like encourage yourself when there's nobody else around because um, you can end up taking your life. And I think I was there, I was at the brink of that. And and so um, I'm just so happy. I don't know if I would be here if it wasn't for my son, to be honestly speaking. If I didn't have a son or a kid to worry about and. I worry, I worried so much about him, what would happen, you know, if, if I'm not in the picture, if I take my life, I'm not here anymore, what would happen to him, what would happen to him, what would happen to him? And, um, yeah, and when I look, like I said, when I look at some of my videos, it's just, it's heart-wrenching to think that was me, so broken. So I'm going to post those videos, guys. I hope to get, like I said, encouragement, you know, I don't want to be judged. I thought about this for a long time, I was afraid. Of posting it because I was afraid that people would perceive me in a certain kind of way and um, and um, I don't know I just they might think something different you know and there's people that don't even know that I struggle with this I'm talking about close you know people in, in my life that didn't know that I was going through so, going through so much and um, but um, I'm thankful that uh, God, you know, just gave me all the resources I needed and and uh, went to the military, the VA for for um, counseling and more assistance and 
and I didn't, I wasn't sure I was, I was actually going to make it. I wasn't sure I was going to be here um, much longer, but like I said, I'm just grateful that I'm still here and, and um, just battling. And so I just want to encourage you, if you're struggling with that, to seek help in your area, wherever you are, you know, if you're in the U.S. or around the world. Um, just seek help. There's always people willing to help. There's always people willing to talk. There's always people that want to help you. There are people that do love you. It just sometimes it seems like nobody cares, but I'm here to tell you from battling with this that people do care. You know, people do break down when you tell them your story. They do cry. They do hug you. You know, they do, you know, just give you words of encouragement, call on you, check on you, because sometimes they don't even know what you're going through because, you, you know, we... Most of the time when we're dealing with those things, we're so embarrassed, we don't want to tell anybody what our struggles are because we're afraid of, like I said, being judged. Um, but if you're in the U.S., the national hotline is 800-271-8255. Um, you know, reach out to the neighborhood, your neighborhood. There's always a health center, health clinic, somebody willing to help. Or whatever country or area that you're in, somebody's always willing to help. Uh, that's my encouragement to you. Um, so like I said, you know, um, you'll see uh, part one and part two of uh, my suicide attempt and um, my battle and I'll talk about it and I encourage you and uh, just give me feedback on that and uh, thanks so much guys. Uh, God bless you and stay firm, stay strong and, um, and yeah, uh, don't forget like and subscribe, this is Papi Stan, um, comment, share and encourage someone you know who's struggling with this, okay? And God bless you, and stay strong, because we are strong. Peace out.